Hey everybody, Sephthor here to find out how's the port of Nier Automata. Nier Automata is the new game from Platinum Games and Square Enix released March 17, 2017. And like most games from Platinum, it is absolutely insane. You play as an android named 2B and it's your goal to rid the earth of these evil machines and save the human race. These past couple of years, there have been lots of new Japanese devs releasing their games on PC. Some have been fine, others have been pretty bad. So this isn't Platinum's first time releasing a game on PC. Now let's see how they did. So Nier Automata might not be the most graphically intense game, but it's not the worst out there. Personally, I find the environments pretty bland. There's lots of grays, whites, browns, beige. Nothing really too interesting to see. But how does the game run? For me, pretty great. Playing the game, I managed to have my frame rate as a very stable 60 frames with a couple of drops down to about 58. So really nothing. I've been playing the game at a resolution of 2560 by 1080, all graphical settings maxed out. So for me, I'm running the game exactly as intended. Now what kind of settings does Nier Automata include in the graphics? You've got V-Sync, anti-aliasing, texture filtering, blur, shadows, effects, and ambient occlusion. So this is pretty standard, maybe below average a little bit. It's the minimum of what you're expecting, but with nothing else added. Some of the settings are also missing some information that you'd normally be able to find. For example, texture filtering, it doesn't say what kind. Is it anisotropic, bilinear, trilinear? It's more likely anisotropic filtering since it's got the 2x to 16x like you'd normally see, but it doesn't actually say. What about the effects? What effects are we talking about? Particle effects, lighting, don't know, just effects. Just adding a bit of information to the settings could have been a big help to finding out exactly where to adjust the settings on lower end systems. Now what about the graphical presets? There's three presets, your low, medium, and high, and let's see how they were. So to benchmark these presets, I ran the opening tutorial up until the end of the first boss at 1080p. I chose this section since it offered lots of different styles of gameplay, lots of action, fast paced fighting, basically the stuff that Platinum is famous for. With all three presets, I was able to achieve 60 FPS, no issues encountered. Sadly, the game has a cap of 60 FPS, so those of you with 144Hz monitors are shit out of luck. The resolution support in the game, though, is great. It supports everything natively from 480p all the way to 4K, even ultra-wide resolutions, which is great for me. Sadly, since there's a lack of options and it doesn't seem to have that large an effect on how the game looks, it doesn't really scale all that well. It's been found that the technique that they use for the global illumination is a huge resource hog and there's no options to adjust it. There's a mod out already that allows you to lower it and it has seen major performance increases, but that's something that should have been included natively in the game. So Nier Automata is the kind of game that you are going to want to play with a controller. So how's the support there? When it comes to the current standard controller, or good old Xbox One controller, it works exactly as intended. Both sticks, both triggers, and all buttons are mapped correctly, and the prompts show up exactly as they should. Sadly, this isn't the case for DualShock 4, as there's no native support. You can always use a program like DS4 Windows, or just Steam's own controller support, but you're gonna end up with the Xbox prompts. And for my fellow Steam controller users out there, there is no native Steam controller support. The game doesn't even support simultaneous mouse and gamepad, so none of that right pad as the mouse, everything else as your Xbox controller. Mouse like joystick works fine though, I suppose. While the support for individual controllers might not be a strong point of the game, the options for your controllers are. There's three different mappings for the controller already in the game, and when you change these mappings, the button prompts change with them. Personally, I prefer type B. And to add to this, you can remap any of the functions in the game except for your movement controls and camera controls to any other button on the controller. 
You can even choose to not map buttons and have certain functions map to two buttons if you want to. For the keyboard and mouse controls, they work as you would expect. WASD for movement, mouse for camera controls, or your arrow keys if you're prone to using those for camera controls. All the functions can be remapped to any key. This time you can change the camera and movement controls, but you can't change the attack key for some reason, as those are always mapped to your left and right click, and you can't map functions to any extra mouse buttons you may have. Kind of an odd choice, but it works. All in all, the port's pretty good. Everything you'd expect to be there in a PC game is there, but there's nothing added on top of that. Which is more than can be said for a lot of Japanese games that have been released the past few years. The game is capped at 60 FPS, which is unfortunate, but it's better than something like Tales of Symphonia, which came out a year and a half ago, I think, which was locked at 30. Even though everything you'd expect to be there, I do think more could have been added, like support for higher frame rates, since this is really the kind of game that would benefit from it. And since the game doesn't scale all that well, you might not get the best performance on a low-end system. But if you've got a medium to high-end system, you should have no issues achieving that stable 60. Have you played Nier? What'd you think of it? Personally, I thought it was fantastic and super weird, and I really want to talk to some people about it. So let me know in the comments what you thought. Just don't say any spoilers. That's not cool, guys.